Our partners, Dr. Sam, Business Ukraine, Watson, Diplomat, and the Ukraine Business Journal, Frischberg and Partners. Now I will hand over to Mr. Alex Frischberg, who will introduce our speakers for this evening. Thank you very much, Sam. Um, thank you very much for coming here tonight. We really appreciate this. It's a rare show tonight because normally we have uh, these shows two or three times a year featuring one, maybe two of our speakers. But now we have everybody on the same panel. Um, my firm here, Frischberg & Partners, we've been here since 1991. And we do these shows every two or three months. So if you want to see the transcripts of the previous shows, just look at our website. They're all uh, there, free of charge. Uh, the pre so welcome to the, if you need any uh, links to that, please let me know. Uh, the presenters tonight are all insiders in Kiev since the very early 90s. I would say since 1990. Um, and we became friends and they became of counsel to Frischberg and Partners since, I guess, 1991. And the people here have, during these 26, 27 years, have gained a value, invaluable practical uh, experience, not just theoretical. So they've, um, let me tell you just a little bit about the people, very quickly. Um, Alexander Pashavir, who is sitting right here, is... Um, was advisor to all of the presidents except the last thug called uh, uh, Yanukovych, who ran away. Uh, but more importantly, he was advisor to uh, Kuchma during the transformatory years, when the transitionary years, when Ukraine was actually trying to do something positive. So uh, he was not only the philosopher behind the structuring of Ukrainian economy, he was advisor in economics and, and philosophy. He was also advisor on um, uh, privatization, which is called state property fund, which is how most people here, be well, most oligarchs became billionaires practically overnight. Uh, Mr. Pashaver drafted the laws on privatization. He was advisor to the state property fund. He also drafted the instructions under the laws on privatization. Uh, so he was in the very beginning of this whole movement, and even now he, re he was also advisor to Yuri Tymoshenko, who didn't listen to him. He's now currently advisor to uh, uh, President Poroshenko, and that is Mr. Pashavir. He wrote a book, by the way, it's in Russian language. We're going to upload it to our website so you guys can see it free of charge. And once we upload it, we're going to send you notices. This is the link, please feel free to read it. Uh, the book is called Kem Bich, Whom to Be. And uh, Groisman himself, the greatest prime minister Ukraine has ever seen after Yuli Tymoshenko, uh, read it. He liked it. Now, we also have here uh, Mr. Savchenko, Professor Savchenko. Professor Savchenko uh, has a distinguished background of being advisor, economic advisor, because he's an economist by profession, to all the presidents, including today, uh, President Poroshenko. No. I like my version better, but apparently I'm wrong. Um, to some of the presidents of Ukraine, and he's still currently advisor to Poroshenko. No, 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 he's never been. I, I like it, my version better. Fine. Uh, he wrote a book, uh, and the book is actually over there that you can find. We translated most, not most, half of it. So you can find the translations along with his uh, transcript from a previous uh, uh, round table that we had in July. Um, so it's all in English, and also the transcript. Uh, and also the translation. And uh, Dr. Savchenko, Professor Savchenko now, he runs that institute. Uh, that the, the, it's the only business school in Ukraine which is licensed internationally. Is that right? First thing I did, right. And um, he also, just to give you background, consummate ultimate insider from 1990, 27 years. Um, he was Ukraine's representative to EBRD in London on the behalf of Ukraine, Belarus, and Moldova in the early 90s. Then he became Deputy National Bank of Ukraine, and twice, actually, two terms. And um, now he runs this school and is still economic advisor to Poroshenko, so he knows everything about everything. <laughs> I told you my version may not be true, but it's better. Um, I'm a lawyer, what do you expect? Huh? Freudian, Freudian slip, three times. Um, and then we have the last but not least is Mikola Velisin. If you guys ever watched Ukrainian television, you know exactly who he is. Uh, he's not just a first level world class journalist, but he is also a TV personality. Um, and together, the three of us, the three of them, will tell you everything you ever wanted to know about Ukraine, but were afraid to ask. They'll be very blunt. And um, after the presentation, I'll be the translator 
So we'll do translation simultaneously so there's no time wasted. Uh, and after that, there'll be a question and answer period where you'll have a chance to ask all kinds of confrontational questions uh, designed to entrap our speakers, for which we will only be all entirely too glad, because that is what we're here for today, to find out the real truth of where we were as Ukraine, where we are, and what's waiting for us in the future, given what we have as a government. Um, now, the, um, there'll be cameras here, and the cameras in the back. There's microphones also, and that you'll be taped. It's just so that you know. So that there'll be a transcript of this event later in written form, and you can read about it, and you can uh, see pictures of yourselves. So please ask as many provocative questions as you can. With all this in mind, I would like to turn over uh, the roundtable discussion to Mr. Paschader, who will say uh, a few words of wisdom that uh, presidents retain him for. And I'll translate with your permission.